Hey everyone, Captain Amazing here, and today we're going to do a roster review, so let's jump into it. Today's roster review is going to be with a spin of the wheel, so let's get spinning. Let's see who's going to be the lucky recipient today. Mm, Robin Hood? Yeah, Robin Hood. Congratulations. Let's see what you have under the hood here. So this player's the Darth Youngling with the Black Dragoons. In Carbonite 3, it's looking like this is a fairly new account. I don't see anything too large here in their arena teams. They're in Carbonite. Uh, 4.7 million GP. More than I expected, to be completely honest. 13,000 Galactic War Battles. This guy has... I don't more galactic war battles than i do this is over three years time played uh, i don't even have three years played actually so insane insane amount of progress mm. i would say i don't i don't even know if this is free to play because it has light speed bundle things in it like this this could have been this could have been a light speed bundle. All relic three geos, maybe, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows what this account did? Like the the Rolo Wampa. Do you have the droid? That's a good sign of Uh no you don't. Maybe maybe you just farm geos? I don't know. Or maybe you bought the geo pack. There's no way to tell. No way to tell at all. So it looks like you're going towards Jedi Knight Luke. I don't know why you have Hermit Wampa or Hermit y or Hermit Wampa. I don't know why you have Hermit Yoda Relic 5. This is a very strange account, to be completely honest. Very irregular. I am going to find your request so I can see what it is. I really want to know from your words what it is you were doing. So Robin Hood said that they are a returning player and have struggled finding direction and have been working on getting JLS. I'm I'm, assu I'm assuming they mean Jedi Master Luke, but they're curious on my thoughts. Okay. I could see this being with how much GP and time played that if they're like an older player, because time progressed much slower back in the day, you know, when they had to climb hill, uh, climb uphill both ways to go to school and back home. So I, I could totally see this account being from a different time and not really playing the last two years, because the last two years the game progress has expanded quite quickly. So, right off the bat, we have to look and see. So, you don't have a GL ship. So, I would focus on trying to get the executor as quick as possible. You're not too far away from it. I know you're working towards Jedi Master Luke, but the executor is going to be a much better farm for you as far as getting better fleet placement in the game. Because right now you're 131. I would like you to start earning crystals at least top 20 if possible. I, I would say if you're from an older shard, which you probably are, you could probably get top 20 if a lot of those are inactive players. So... And you don't, you don't have to sit at top 20, you just have to get that payment. And the end goal, of course, would be getting first or top top five at least. I did it with my older, or with my account, my main account. It wasn't, it was, I had to prioritize 
fleets so that I could earn fleet shards or fleet crystals in my shard. And your your Grand Arena, your Carbonite 3, I don't know if it's because you just started playing it. You put in your request about two months ago, a little over. So you hopefully have been playing the last few months and can climb out of Carbonite, I would hope. So there's there's some good things about this account. Like your Night Sisters are good. Your Darth Revens or your Revens are good. Your CLS is almost complete. Not bad overall of what I see here. So I would hard focus executor, start earning fleet, at least some fleet crystals. You can go into, you're pretty close to Jedi Master uh, Luke's Luke. So you can go for Jedi Knight Luke after executor. And then once you're done with that, you can go in and I would say you should start going for at that point it's it's pretty there's a lot of things you can do so I would say your priority should be the poncho bros getting those up and running also like at least to r7 for their credits and then after jml immediately start going for java so you're gonna go executor jml Jedi Bros Jabba. Before Jabba, you can fit in some assault battles. I would like to see two assault battles before that. One of them is going to be your Imperial Troopers, and then the next, actually, you're 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 kind of there's a lot of your bounty hunters are pretty close, but maybe your some of your ships and Piet's not ready. So if you want to, you can go Jedi Knight Luke into Executor into JML would be fine as well, and you can work on that Jedi Knight Luke, get him to R7 while you're getting all the shards once you have all the shards ready for executor then you go into executor or if while you're doing the shards you could also prioritize the poncho bros master qui-gon padawan obi-1 and you can do master qui-gon padawan obi-1 to r7 then the executor farm then jedi knight luke then jml then uh, then you can go java but sometime you should in between those be farming assault battle so the the imperial trooper assault battle is pretty important as far as piet veers you can go stark dark trooper uh, and range trooper you're gonna have to farm the shards on these but that's gonna be a team that's gonna be very effective for a very long time until you get up into about kyber mid-level of kyber then they turn more into a cleanup slash tw kind of team but they are very effective you don't have your cls fully up and running which is fine you don't have to rush them right now i don't know why you relicked up c3po before han solo uh, and then I see that you equipped a lot of this like gear 12 pieces. I would say stop doing that. You're going to, you're wasting gear. The primary time that a character gets the biggest boost is at relics. And if you are placing gear on characters like this where at gear 12, it may give them a little bit of health, but the true benefit is if you can get to relics. And this could be a few relics just sitting here on your characters. So stop doing this only like when you can click this button that's when you do it get some mods on these characters even at gear 12 the chupio han solo is a good and get the right mod sets this is this is a really bad mod i don't know how you probably had this mod on him for like five years by now <laughs> but you, you want uh, i'm gonna say this there's going to be a mod playlist so building plus 25 speed mods and my entire mod playlist i would say watch these mod guides they're going to help you out a lot as far as building your mods because mods are important especially where you are in the game you need to develop develop a mod roster but essentially that's what i would recommend also if you're unsure how to farm then i have how to build a farming pathway and my amazing guides right here the amazing guides is going to be how you gear from gear one level one all the way to relic nine is what this guide is that's going to help you out a lot as well as far as learning how to efficiently use all your resources but overall 
what I can say for your account is you have a lot of good stuff here. It's not refined. It's not modded well, more than likely. Uh, they're they're kind of like B minus ish teams at this point because you haven't been playing for a long time. But a lot of these things still have longevity. CLS, the Revens, still really good. The Bounty Hunters are okay. Geos are still crap. The rest is kind of just like fluff. You did buy Kiati Mundi. Okay, so you, you are buying Lightspeed Bundles now. So as you play, you'll probably get more Lightspeed Bundles. So not completely free to play. I would like to see some more effort on your fleets. So there probably will be some light speed bundles here pretty soon for Ray and SLKR. That could add some instant instant boost to your account if you unlock those once those light speed bundles loop around. So I would say if you're going to do that, buy the ship ones and, and the characters if you really want to unlock those characters quick because ships are huge in unlocking those uh those two characters because you need an actual fleet it's not just like one ship you have to farm other than that like farm your separatist fleet as well so i can see from here you're you have a hyena bomber it's four stars farm the hyena bomber farm the vulture droid you can get those up and running it's better than having the soldier and the spy starting so you go hyena bomber sun fact uh and the vulture droid and that's going to be your starting lineup and your first reinforcement should be that spy um spy ship so you want to get that as for, let's look at your galactic republic real quick farm your btlb y-wing and these ship farms are side farms your main farm of course has to be your bounty hunter and your empire ship so your you have the bomber that's good so finish your Razor Crest, which you'll farm in the shipments. Okay, so that's that's what I would say for your account. Just keep working on it, side farm your ships, do that farming pathway I said. I, I really don't think there's, even though you've been playing for three years, there's your mods are just atrocious. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know if you really engaged in them. I don't know if... Like when you played mods were that huge or if you just didn't really know them. But watch my mod guides. You probably have the worst mods I've ever seen on someone who's been playing for three years. And again, like you're, you're a return player. I get it. But your, your account is just, it's just old. It's, it's. It's not what we expect now because the game has changed tremendously. But the good thing is you're almost 5 million GP. There's a lot of good stuff here. And if you if you maximize light speed bundles, if you farm correctly, you focus on resources, farming, farming farms that give you more resources, then you're going to be in a good place. And I'll say this about Jedi Master Luke. I would I would even consider hear me out. Not going for Master Luke first, going for Hot Cartel first. Just because JML is honestly not that great of a first GL. Your first GL usually goes on defense. It's not a very PvP based GL. And if you get him and you don't even Relic 9 him, you may feel like you're going to have an underperforming account because he's not going to be able to do what you need. Uh, SOKR, Ray, excellent first GLs. They're, they're very strong. Jabba, also an excellent first GL. JML, just not very good defensively. It's just, you're gonna, you're going to struggle a little bit in PvP and feel like you're un, you're not performing as well as you should with JML. So you can go for JML earlier. I would argue, go for, go for Executor into Jabba and then you can farm JML quickly after that. And if you get light speed bundles like the Ray bundle and SLKR bundle, then quickly go all in on that. But make sure you fit in those assault battles like uh, finish your CLS team, the Jedi Knight Luke. Also the Poncho Bros as early as you can is what I would say for this account. And then continue side farming those ships, especially your pilotless ships and continue working on those. Watch my mod guides uh, and how to, my amazing guides on how to farm. And then that's going to help you overall on getting your, your account up and running 
and back to uh, like 2024 20, level from where you were. And I, again, I was a return player. I came back two years uh, and now I'm, I'm up and running. And it, in these last two years, I'm telling you the game has changed and your account's gonna be able to, to progress very quickly. So uh, don't feel bad. Don't feel like you're, you're behind. Even though you are, it's not a big deal. You can quickly catch up as long as you farm smartly. You focus on resources and getting more resources into your account then you're going to do uh, great overall. Thanks for watching my content. And then I'll see you all next time. If you have any qu questions for me, let me know in the discord and take care.